Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Suleiman Hameen and in this video we will talk about different data types for numbers. Well, in Python there are three different numeric data types. First one is integer, second one is float and the third one is a complex number. In the previous video, Python variable, we have studied how to create a variable. Let us look again at some of the examples of creating variables of numeric data types. x is equal to 1. Here x is declared the moment you have assigned 1 to x. 1 is an integer value, therefore the data type of x is integer. Now we will make another variable y. y is equal to 2.3. Here, y is declared the moment we have assigned 2.8 to y. 2.8 is a float value because it contains a decimal point. Therefore, the data type y is float. Now, we will make another variable z. z is equal to 1j. Here, z is declared the moment we have assigned 1j to z. 1j is a complex number. Because it contains J, therefore the data type of Z is complex. Now we will use the online Python compiler available at programmers.com. The link is given. After going to the link, you will see the IDE as shown. Type the following code in main.py. X is equal to 1. Y is equal to 2.8. Z is equal to 1J. To verify the type of any object in Python, use the type function print type x, print type y, print type z. After typing the code in the main.py section, press the run button to execute the code. The output will be shown in the cell section. You can see from the output, data type for x is integer given as class int, data type for y is float given as class float and data type for z is complex given as class complex. Now let us look at the integer data type. Well int or integer is a whole number, positive or negative without decimals of unlimited length. It means that it should contain positive or negative number without decimals and it can be of any digit. It can be one digit. 2 digit, 3 digit or any digit length. Now let us look at some of the examples. We will be using the online compiler. Type the following code in the main.py section. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3565622554887711 and z is equal to minus 3255522. To verify the data type, type the following print type x, print type y, print type z. After pressing the run button, you will get the output in the shell section. The output clearly shows that all x, y, and z are of data type integer. Now, this clearly shows that integers are positive numbers, negative numbers, and can be of any length. Now, let us look at the second data type. That is the float data type. Well, float or floating point number is a number positive or negative containing one or more decimals. Now, let us look at some of the examples. Again, we will be using the online compiler. Type the following code in the main.py section. X is equal to 1.10 y is equal to 1.0 and z is equal to minus 35.59 print type x print type y print type z after pressing the run button you will get the output in the shell section the output clearly shows that all x y and z are of data type float now this clearly shows that float can be positive numbers negative numbers containing one or more decimals Now let us look at scientific numbers. Well, float can also be scientific numbers with an e to indicate 
the power of 10. For example, x is equal to 35 e3, y is equal to 12 e4, z is equal to minus 87.7 e100. Print type x, print type y, print type z. After typing in the main section and running the run button, you will get the output in the shell section. The output clearly shows that all x, y and z are of data type load. Now this clearly shows that scientific numbers with an e to indicate the power of 10 are also float data type. Now let us look at the complex data type. Complex numbers are written with a j as the imaginary part. For example, x is equal to b plus 5j, y is equal to 5j, z is equal to minus 5j. Print type X, print type Y, print type Z. After typing this code in the online compiler and then press the run button, you will get the output in the shell section. The output clearly shows that all X, Y and Z are of complex size. In X, 3 is the real part and plus 5 is the imaginary part. In Y, 5 is the imaginary part and in Z, Minus 5 is the imaginary part. Now let us discuss about type conversion. You can convert from one data type to another with the INT, float and complex method. It means that if you want to convert into integer, you can use INT function. If you want to convert data type into float, you can use float function. And if you want to convert data type to complex, we'll use the complex function. Keep in mind that you cannot convert complex data type into either integer or float data type. Now let us look at an example for converting from one type to another. In the main.py section of the online compiler, type x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2.8, z is equal to 1j. Here x is an integer and its value is 1. y is a float and its value is 2.8 and z is a complex number having 1 as imaginary part. For converting from integer to float we will type a is equal to float x. For converting from float to integer we will type b is equal to integer y. And for converting from integer to complex we will type c is equal to complex x. Now we will type print command to get the output. Print a, print b, print c. And for the data type we will type print type a, print type b, print type c. After typing the code in the main.py section, press the run button to get the output. In the output you will see that the value of a is 1.0 value of b is 2 and the value of c is 1 plus 0 j. The data type of a is float, the data type of b is integer and the data type of c is complex. All integer and float have real parts. Therefore, after converting from integer of float data type into complex plus 0 j is added as the imaginary part. Complex numbers cannot be converted into integer of float data type. After discussing the three different numeric data types, we are going to discuss random number. Well, in Python, we don't have a random function. So, Python has a built-in module called random that can be used to make random numbers. Random numbers can be created by importing the random module. Now let us look at an example for creating random numbers. On the online compiler, type import random, print random dot rand range 1 comma 10. After pressing the run button, we'll get the output in this shell section. You can see that my output is 6, but you can get a different output. It can be a number from 1 till 10, depends on the random number generated at your end. So here is a simple program that how random numbers are created. So I hope you have understood what is a random number and how it is created and I hope that you have understood the entire topic of numeric data types. This is 
is the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed this channel, then do so by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification of the latest videos uploaded on our channel. Don't forget to comment, like and share our video. We'll meet again with a new video. Thanks for watching. Take care and Allah Hafiz.